to design a digital design for one bit counter but it should only increment its value when the input enable signal is high so you have to fill this black box now you have one extra input that is enable so when this enable is high then only your counter should increment that means your queue should increment when it is zero it should hold its previous value you can take your time you can pause this video otherwise i will let you know the answer friends i am going to tell you a general method using that method you will be able to resolve any such type of uh, problem in this method you have to simply draw a state table very simple state table here you have to write all the inputs here we have only one input enable so we will write enable and because we are going to design one bit counter so we have only one flip flop so i am writing pre state that is qn so all the outputs of flip flop so here i have only one flip flop so i will write qn now you have to write all the possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now as per the definition as per the requirement when enable is 0 the next state on this queue will be equal to the present state so when enable is 0 the next state will be equal to present state similarly when present state is 1 and enable is 0 qn plus 1 will be 1 only now when enable is 1 and the output value q is 0 we know the next state should be 1 it should be inverter then only it will act as a one bit counter so when enable is one output of uh, this flip flop is one that means q is one the next state will be zero now if i tell you that i want this as a next state what should i apply at the input of a d flip flop so obviously we should apply the same value 0 1 1 and 0 now from here you can easily and drive the equation for this d so you have to take these two points where d is 1 now let us see uh, at this where the d is 1 uh, it is enable is 0 so enable bar into here qn is high so into qn plus now let us take a look at this point here enable is high so enable into qn is 0 here so qn bar so if you see this is a, an expression of an xor gate so en enable xor qn now from here you can easily uh, see the final logic circuit diagram as we already discussed because it is a one bit counter so it will have only one d flip flop and now we need to know what will be the expression for this d it is enable xor qn so this is enable signal which is coming from outside and the other input of this xor gate is is qn so this way this will be our final logic circuit diagram friends now i am going to tell you a second very important technique through which you will be able to design any of your digital logic but with the help of multiplexers in the previous technique we saw that we are able to design any digital logic with the help of logic gates for example in the previous question we designed our digital design with the help of xor gate and flip flops but in this technique in the second technique we will design all the logics with the help of multiplexers and flip flops now let us see how this technique works friends in this technique you have to write the sdl code of the given problem statement at the behavioral level without caring its logic circuit diagram I have written the very log code of the given problem statement but you can use any HDL language. Now let me explain you how this very log code works. We know that whenever there is a positive edge on the clock and enable is high so Q should be inverted then only it will be a one bit counter. Else Q should contain it previous value. Now from here as we already discussed in one of my previous video that if we want to implement if else statement synthesizer is going to implement it as a 2s21 multiplexer so we need to design this combination logic block let me show you how so you have to take one 2s21 multiplexer and on the select line we need to apply enable signal 
so when enable is high so we are going to pass q bar else we need to pass q only and q is the output of a d flip flop so you see q is the output of this d flip flop and this will be the final logic circuit diagram with the help of multiplexers friends in the problem statement it was nowhere given that q should be negated when enable is equal to high the more precise behavioral code should be something like this when enable is high q should be equal to q plus 1 else q should be equal to q now from this uh, behavioral code you can easily drive the logic circuit diagram so it will be something like this so instead of not get here so we need to put an adder so one of the input will be q another will be logic one and its output will be fed to one of the input of this multiplexer and another input will be q only in fact this one bit adder is a not gate only synthesizer will implement it as a not gate only if you are not sure what will be the logic so this is also a good answer friends i am going to wrap up this video here and i hope that this video would be quite informative for all of you if you really like my video please press the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues and to get such more videos in future don't forget to subscribe our channel and for the notification of the videos don't forget to press the bell icon thank you so much for watching thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content your support means a lot to us